So guys, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellaby, says that he is very confident that Adrian Broner will put in a great, a defining performance against Manny Pacquiao. Uh, we've been waiting for this defining performance for quite a while. He's had three fights against three top fighters. Uh, three fighters where, you know, Broner's fought the elite of the elite and he's come out short quite by by some distance. It wasn't like he's come short and in close fights. We're talking about he was beaten quite easily against Marcus Madonna, who's not known for being a great, you know, boxer. He got he got battered in that fight. It was 120-107 against Mikey Garcia, another one-sided fight against Sean Porter. He lost that fight convincingly. Um, Broner's always at the top level, in my opinion, Jack. And this is an opportunity against not even an in-prime Pacquiao, an old Pacquiao. This is an opportunity for Adrian Broner to prove people wrong. Um, is he going to be good enough to do it? I'm, I don't think so. I, I think Pacquiao's going to dominate the fight and, and win easy. But this is an opportunity for Adrian Broner to go out there and shock the world and prove that he is a top fighter, to prove that he is... A, a very very good fighter and he is he, he does belong at the top in the in boxing but like I said before I think Broner's style is made for Pacquiao and I think Pacquiao's going to do a job on him I think Pacquiao's going to come in there use his fast hands and Broner doesn't throw enough punches and I just think Pacquiao's going to dominate that fight and I think Pacquiao will be the first man to stop Adrian Broner irrespective of what people are saying that Broner's going to put in a defining fight they were saying that against Mikey Garcia that you know Broner's a change man you know he's found religion um, he's he's training harder than ever, but when the fight actually happened, it was a one-sided whooping in Mikey Garcia's favor. You know, Broner didn't throw enough punches, and I don't even think Mikey Garcia hurt him in the fight. Um, it was just the fact that Broner just doesn't. It's as if Broner fights as if he doesn't want to get hurt. Even when he knows he's down, it's as if he's content with just like surviving and going twelve rounds. It just he just doesn't impress me, Broner. He hasn't done anything that's really impressed me. He just he looks unimpressive, really. And he needs to let his hands go against Pacquiao because you got to, what we got to understand is that Pacquiao a, throws a lot more punches than the guys that he's fought. In my opinion, Pacquiao throws more punches than Madonna. Pacquiao throws more punches than Mikey Garcia. Pacquiao throws more punches than Sean Porter. And he's accurate with those, pun with those punches. He's not wild. They're not wild swings. You know, sometimes I think... Mikey Garcia is more accurate, more of a sniper puncher where he doesn't waste shots, but he's very accurate. Pacquiao throws a lot of punches and he's very accurate as well. More accurate than Porter and Madonna. So it's a tough, tough ask. It's a tough, tough ask for Adrian Broner. You know, on what I've seen in his career so far, you probably don't give him any chance at all. Um, and I don't even think it's a competitive fight. That's my opinion. And, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Broner is good and he's just not shown it in his career so far. But the Broner I've seen so far, you have to say that Pacquiao that's is gonna, Pacquiao is going to dominate him and probably stop him, if I'm totally honest. But leave your thoughts, guys. What do you make of Leonard Ellaby? Do you think this is going to be a, a defining performance by Adrian Broner and he's finally going to show us his his talent? Or do you think it's just going to be another fight where Broner gets dominated and, and beat up? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.